Have you ever struggled convincing your wife or your husband or maybe your in-laws on a particular idea? Is your teenage kid not listening to you? Have you ever struggled convincing your boss on something you badly want to do? If you said yes to any of those questions, then this video is for you. I am going to break down some of the tactics used by Bill Gates in his recent TED talk that has garnered more than 21 million views. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I make interesting videos that can be useful for your life and career. Let's dive in. When it comes to convincing a large number of people or maybe just one person, the most important thing is understanding what we really want to do and anticipating what questions the other person may have in their mind and solving for all the questions ahead of your speech. And that's what Bill Gates has done in his TED talk. The talk is about how to prevent another pandemic. So the first question, why should the audience agree to the solution? In most negotiations, when you speak to the other person's emotion, there is a higher chance of convincing them on your idea. And Bill Gates does that here. He uses something called social proof. Social proof is where we have an inclination to copy others' behavior. While this is very commonly seen in monkeys, humans do it too. This is why most popular brands are endorsed by celebrities. Bill Gates points out a success story that happened about 2016 years ago in the city of Rome. When a problem is much larger for an individual or a household to solve, what do we do? We join together and fight it. That's what Romans did about 2000 years back to fight fire. They formed the first fire service station or the fire brigades. And now Bill says we should do something similar. In many cases, not just offering a good solution is essential, but also telling the audience what is in it for them. This is very critical. To solve this problem, Bill uses a tactic that's commonly used by all advertisers. When it comes to selling a product or convincing people to buy your product, there are two powerful ways to do it. You can either build a deep desire in the audience mind to go ahead and buy it, or you can create some fear. You can connect to the fear in the audience mind and let them buy it as a reaction to protect themselves from something dangerous. In my opinion, the second one is more powerful because people are naturally risk averse. Bill does the same. He connects us to our past fears. He recollects our memory that the world lost a lot of money and lives in the last pandemic. He says if we want to prevent the next one, we should be ready to spend millions to save billions of dollars in future and many more lives. Now that Bill has shown social proof and connected people with their fears, now the next question that may come up in the audience mind is how do we execute it? This is where he does another flawless job by showing step by step what everyone should do to prevent the next pandemic. He, he speaks about forming a new organization of independent experts who will actively work to prevent the next pandemic. He goes to an extent to showing a video clip from a movie to say what success looks like. With the three tricks we just saw, there is a good chance the other person is sold on the idea, but there is still a need to convince their ego. We started speaking to emotion when it comes to convincing the people on an idea, but when it comes to handling ego, going with facts is a much easier approach. He points out that we did a bad job in the last pandemic, which we could have prevented. He lays down facts by saying how we did not really prepare ourselves for the last pandemic. And if we miss this chance now, we may not do well the next time. Now we come to a very important part. This is where he needs to kill rumors and conspiracy theories. If he doesn't do that, there is a chance People may say, we'll think and come back. People will want to know what's in it for them. When it comes to killing rumors, there are a lot of different strategies. One of the most powerful ways is confronting it, acknowledging about the rumor, acknowledging about the conspiracy theory, saying that you're aware of that and telling everyone it's a lie. He does that with a joke, which is even more powerful. Now that we have looked at these five ideas, I strongly suggest you to go check out the video and see how he uses these five practical tips in his speech to convince a lot of people. I'll leave the video link below the like button. Go check it out. Thanks for watching till the end. I would love to hear your views and thoughts about my video and this topic. Please let me know in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.